another post. <laughs> Okay guys, we just found this general formula and let me show what the picture stands behind this. So let's take just some simple case when n is equal to, equals to 4. So in this case we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 equal like the sum according I just plug in my n equal to 4 into this formula and I got result as a 10. What I did, I show you the way how we can prove this formula by using algebra. Let me show the way how we can prove this formula using geometry. So in this case, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the same amount of points. So I will add red point here, two red points here, three red points here, and four red points here. And so right now you can see, instead of triangle, I have a rectangular. Yeah? And what I'm going to do, I'm going to find how many points I have right here. So my base consists of five points. Yeah? And my height consists of four. So, uh, let's say like my sum is equal 4 times 5. So I have 4 times 5 points. But I am what I'm interested. I'm interested to have just a half of this point. So instead of this sum, I will find some bar. So some bar is going to be equal 4 times 5 over 2, and it's equal to 10. Do you see? 10, 10. And the same argument you can use in a case when you have 1 plus 2 plus 3 da, 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 plus n. So there's two ways how you can prove some math formula. There is a really technical algebraic way when you're just using some algebra. And there is like geometry, really beautiful and nice way when you can see the picture that stands behind this beautiful formula. Hi, it's me. <laughs> I, I want to tell you the backstory behind this. So this is a problem that was originally given to Gauss when he was in elementary school and basically the teacher, he, she wanted to distract Gauss for like a, an hour or so and she said, well, calculate the sum from 1 up to 50 and she thought it would take uh, an hour to do that but it turns out he just found this clever way and after two minutes he was like, oh, there's a sum. Very, very smart, smart guy. guy. Yeah, very smart. 1 to 100, right? Huh? 1 to 100, right? Okay guys, we use different techniques to prove, to prove this formula, this formula, and I show you another trick how we can use, how we can prove this formula in the case when k equal to 2. And actually you can apply these tricks for the higher k. Let's show how we can do this when k is equals to 3. So what I'm going to do, you remember in the trick I consider some formula like this. So for k equals to 2, I was using n plus 1 cube minus n cube. But in this case, because we rise uh, our k by 1, let's also rise our power by 1. So we'll have n plus 1 to the fourth, n to the fourth. And you might ask like yourself, what is this equal to? And we can use like this triangle to get our coefficient. So this sum, oh, this, this term is actually is equal to n to the fourth plus 4n cubed plus 6n squared plus 4n plus 1 and the last term is minus n to the fourth and again let's use the same trick we have some formula and let's just take n equal to 1 equal n equal to 2 n equals to 3 n equals to m so what I will get m plus 1 Okay, and let's do magic again. I see 2 to the 4th, negative 2 to the 4th, got cancelled. 3 to the 4th, minus 3 to the 4th, got cancelled. 4 got cancelled. And this term will got cancelled with the previous one over here. So on the left side, I will have m plus 1 to the 4th, minus, uh, minus 1. What I will have on the left side? On the left side, 4 is a common factor for each of this term. And each of this term, 1 cube, so let's factor this. I'll have 4, 1 cube, plus 2 cube, plus da, 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 plus m cube. And this is our unknown sum, is S3. But what about next terms? Here, I have the sum of squares. And the sum of squares is S2. So it's going to be equal plus 6 S2. What about this sum? This sum is the sum of 1, 2, 3, etc. And this is, is S1. So plus 4 times S1. 
and the last one plus as zero. So in this case, you can see you have this as our unknown s three, and you know the formula for s two, for s one, for s zero. So by having this equation, you can express s three as in terms of these stuffs. So in some sense, you got recursion formula. So what I'm saying. Uh, sometimes you have two types of proof when you're given some formula, for example, like this, and you need to prove this by induction. But for me, proof by induction is boring. Why? Because it's too technical. The most interesting proofs when you can see some kind of really cool tricks or really like cool picture that stands behind this proof. So in this case of proving general formula uh, to find your SK, you can get this general formula when you will express SK in our case, S3 in terms of S2, S1, and, and S0. So I think it's amazing. And as a homework, you can find your S3 and write down below comments. And if you want, if you have enough time, you like, you know, like really love math, etc., find the general formula for SK. It's going to be pretty exciting, I think. Okay, thank you. Wow. Do you guys know the exciting thing about Pascal's triangle? Well, look, here we have this, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. I call this Pascal Illuminati, actually. You'll see why. <laughs> because look at the diagonal sums. Like, suppose you take an arrow and you sum everything on the arrow. The first thing is 1. The second thing is 1, the next one is 2, so 1 plus 1, and then 3, 5, and if you do the next one, so 3, 4, 1, 8, so you have the sequence 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, so every term is the sum of the two previous terms, you get the Fibonacci sequence. Where's the bunny? Oreo! Angry bunny. Fibonacci <laughs> 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 sequence. Cool, man. Really amazing. Let's try. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> no, take money. Oh my god. <laughs> People, you should try this. It's yeah, <laughs>